that I got from Shein. Um, I got some really freaking fire pieces and I'm super excited to share them with you. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I heard you guys in the comments of my last haul and you want me to say the prices of the items in the video. So from here on out, I'm gonna try to start doing that in my haul video. So the first item is this striped shirt and I've been wearing this in a lot of videos recently because I have fallen in love. This is probably my favorite shirt that I own currently at the moment. And it is on Shein's website as the Contrast Striped Tee for $5. It is a cropped t-shirt, which I like because it's not too short of a crop and it's not too long of a crop. It is just perfect in my opinion. And it is this super stretchy, nice, like thick American apparel level, like quality crop top material. And I got mine in a size extra large, which is the largest size that they offer. And it fits me perfectly. So I definitely would recommend this and I would rate it five out of five stars because I freaking love it. Look at this, it's so stretchy. The next thing I got is also a shirt and it looks like this. Definitely trying to be a Gucci shirt, but it's different enough to where I don't feel weird wearing it. And this is on the Shein website as mixed print tee and it retails for $10. And I got mine in a size extra large. Uh, currently on the website, it is only in stock in a large and an extra large. The design on the t-shirt is really cute. I like it personally. And the design like pattern, like how it's printed doesn't crack when you like stretch it. It's very like good on there. And overall, I would give this t-shirt a five out of five, just like the first one. Absolutely love it. Can you tell I'm into this like color scheme right now? <laughs> The next things that I got are a couple of bottoms and I was super excited for both of these. One of them is a little bit too big so I'm gonna start out with that one. It is this denim, black denim studded zip up skirt and you can probably just see that it is quite large just from me holding it up. And this is on the Shein website as the Shein Zip Up Raw Edge Studded Denim Skirt and it retails for $18. As of currently filming this video though, it is sold out but I will still link it in the description so you can uh, see and wait if it is in stock when you got it. I got it in a size extra large, probably should have gone for a large um, because it doesn't fit on me the way it fits on the model. On the model it's more form fitting and on me it's sort of just like a normal denim skirt and there is a bit of extra fabric in the waist area. But besides the fact that it is too big, I can still wear it and I still love it and I will wear it a lot. I'm actually gonna ask my Bobshi if she can shrink it a little bit in the washing machine because uh, I know you can shrink clothes because I've accidentally shrunken some clothes before so it would be really nice if I could shrink this down maybe a size and get more wear out of it. But I thought this would be super cute with like this shirt tucked into it or maybe this shirt with just some like studded black boots or something. And the quality of this is super good. The only one part of it that I would say I don't like about the quality is sometimes the zipper gets caught if you don't have it like perfectly, um, perfectly like flat when you zip it up. So like it has to be like that. It couldn't be like a little bit like crooked or anything. You have to get it in the right position to zip it up. But that's fine. Once you get it zipped up, you don't really unzip it. And since it's too big for me, I don't need to unzip it to get it on and off. I can just slide it on. So yeah, um, everything about this skirt other than that is perfect condition. It has pockets that are real in the front and the back. So that is a plus. And yeah, I would rate this a five out of five. The next bottom that I got is a pair of jeans and these are on Shein listed as the Fringe Detail Skinny Jeans and they retail for $25, although currently they only have a small left in stock and I believe I got mine in an extra large, which is good. I'm glad that I got these in an extra large because they fit perfectly. Uh, if I would have gotten this in a large and this in a large, then these would have been too small and this would have fit, so I'm glad that I got these in an extra large. But they are just these black skinny jeans with these frill details that wraps around the leg on the top on one leg and on the bottom on the other. And these are super good quality once again. All the pockets are real. That's a very important detail because sometimes with skinny jeans from these websites, the pockets are not real, but they are real on these. The only thing that was not good about these jeans when they came is that the zipper buttonhole was not open. I had to cut it with an X-Acto knife. So if that bothers you, I would, I mean, I'd still get these pants. They're freaking cute, but uh, you just gotta cut it with an X-Acto knife like I did, and then it works uh, perfectly. Pew, pew, pew. 
I find that Shein's clothes are more American sizes than Asian sizes. Um, not so much in like the waist, cause like the extra large, but in the length. These are long, so I cuff them, and the ankles also are not skinny enough for my legs but I have a bigger stomach than I do my ankles. So I have a feeling if I would have gotten a small, they would have fit the ankles and not the stomach. Um, but that's just a me problem. <laughs> yeah, I would probably rate these a four out of five just because there's a little bit of a fitting issue and the button was not open. <laughs> I'm so used to that though, it doesn't even bother me, but some people are like, oh my gosh, I have to cut my own buttonholes? Second to last item that I got is a jacket, and I have an addiction, oh boy, oh boy. I have a clothing rack sitting in front of me that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 denim jackets on it. I live in a place where it doesn't get like below 80 degrees ever, so why do I own so many denim jackets? I don't know, it's a problem. But I added another one to the collection because I didn't have one in this exact shade of acid wash. And oh boy, oh boy, oh freaking boy, am I glad that I did. This is on the Shein website as Distressed Bleached Wash Denim Jacket and it retails for $34, but at the time of filming this video, it is currently sold out, but I will link a similar one in the description below from Shein. Um, but yeah, I got this in a size large. I definitely could have sized down because it is quite big and baggy, but I like the way that it fits. It doesn't make me look like a motocross driver like most of my jean jackets do. Why am I out of breath? <sighs> okay. <sighs> yeah, I think that this would just look really cute with like this shirt and some like black skinny jeans, this denim jacket and like my white Converse that I just got from my birthday. I think it would be a super fire outfit. And yeah, I really like the distressing on this as well. And even though I will never wear this buttoned up cause that's lame as heck, all the buttonholes came open. So yay, this one gets a five out of five on my book. Add it to the collection. The last thing I got are a pair of slide on shoes and these are on the website as graphic pattern slim on Plimsolls. I don't know what a plimsoll is, but apparently that's what these are. I just call them slide on sneakers. But I got these in a size 39 and they retail for $28. And boy, if I have some big footed pals out there that are looking for some like canvassy, meshy slide on sneakers, these go all the way up to a European size 41. Overseas shoes are never Big. Like, I don't have that problem because I don't have large feet. I am a size 7 US. Um, if anything, sometimes they don't have my size because it's a very common size. Um, but I know that like my mom, for instance, she has a size 10 woman's and she she can't buy shoes off of sites like she and Romney Rose Gallon stuff because the biggest size they go to is an American size 8 or 9. So the fact that these come in a size 41 is insane. And these definitely fit like a 39. I have a bunch of other 39 size shoes. Um, I do believe these are a size 8 though. I always go a size up just to be safe and they are a little bit big but I just wear thick socks and I'm okay. <laughs> I've had this struggle my whole life. If my shoes are too big my parents just put on thick socks. You'll be okay. I got these. I totally love them. I haven't worn them out and about yet as you can see because they're still sparkly white on the bottom but uh, they feel comfortable for me wearing them around my house. Give me kisses. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, hello. Oh, don't knock over my tripod, please. But yeah, I would totally recommend those shoes. Hello, my princess. Someone is sleepy, huh? Jesus, Chloe. You almost hit me in the face with your face. But yeah, that is it for this haul, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link everything that I mentioned in this haul video in the description, as always, in case any of it piqued your interest. But if this is your first time seeing my videos, please remember to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. If you actually like this video, please remember to like it by clicking the thumbs up. If you were subscribed already and you have yet not to, click the bell below to turn on my notifications so you're notified when I post it. You can actually enjoy my content. Join the party. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Fwah. Bye.